So this DMs video is going to be including emails and comments because they've taken over every single part of my social media at this point. Hey guys, it's Sadie and today I'm back with another reading DMs video. And if you're not familiar with the series on my channel, it's a series where I read the weirdest DMs I've gone in and react to them. Before we get started, I'd also like to issue a trigger warning for this video if like um, sexual content or harassment bothers you, this, these DMs might bother you. So maybe we could just skip out on this video. Alright, let's just get started. Okay, so this first guy, he just commented under my videos a few times and he seemed a little weird but he was really nice. So I talked to him, I replied to his comments because I like to talk to people that watch my videos and support me, right? And then in my description of my YouTube videos, I, I have my email listed, but it says very clearly for business inquiries only, not for like social reasons um, or any other reasons. So he messaged me a long email, I'm not going to read that email because he opened up about a lot of stuff in his life and like shared a lot of personal information with me. And he said he just wanted to talk to me in private about certain things. And I said, sure, it's fine. I'll be your friend, I guess. Um, but, like, do you have any social media that I can contact you from so we're not using my business email for this? And he said no. I'm like, okay. So I, I did give him the green light. I'm like, okay, fine. You can email me on this email. Whatever. He would email me. And if I didn't respond right away, he'd be like, why are you ignoring me? Why are you mad at me? Okay, I guess you don't want to be friends. Fine. I'm like, I'm busy. Like, I'm, I'm just an adult, like I was washing dishes or something, like, you know, it's not like, I'm not going to sit at my computer all day and respond to your emails. And then he started getting, like, creepy. <laughs> like they all do. They kept saying, like, he liked my muscles, like my arms, like my arm muscles, and I don't have arm muscles, like... So I don't know what he's talking about. I think he mistook fat for arm muscles. I don't know. But he kept complimenting them and it was a little weird. He said I should be like a female wrestler. I'm like, okay, I think you have a kink. Um, but anyway, he emailed me and said, I won't ask you to do a flexing video. He, 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 he. I'm usually naughty, but I'm not going to be that way to you because that would be rude. I'm not going to be that way to you because I respect you. See, like, he said he wasn't going to say that, but he did. They were like, you know, I would say that you're ugly and fat and disgusting, but I wouldn't say that to you because I respect you as a person and that would be mean, so I'm not going to tell you that you're ugly, okay? Like, it's the same thought process. <laughs> and so at this point, I don't really want to talk to him anymore because, um, he's creepy. He's crossed some boundaries multiple times now. Um, so I was, at this point, I actually was ignoring him. I wasn't just busy. And then he commented under one of my videos, I'm big and bad. I'm the muscle man. I can't tell if this is a child or not. And I don't know if that makes it more or less disturbing. So anyway, I just replied to it, good for you. And he went, don't be rude. I was only joking. And then after that, he decided to leave a hate comment on another video where he just went, I don't like this video, but ha 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 ha. And I just said, good for you. And I didn't care. I found it very funny. And he's commenting on a bunch of my videos. I'm getting watch time, views, engagement. Like, I don't care. And then he also, like, commented on a bunch of my friends' videos and, like, Mutual's videos. So if you got a video from 101 Sanford, I would like to apologize. That's it's partially my fault, I guess, because I pissed him off. So after leaving, like, hate comments on my videos and, like, my friends' videos, he emails me again from to my business email. <laughs> hey friend, I'm so sorry for all the rude comments I hate myself for. I want to knee it up to you and be your friend again. <laughs> and keep in mind, this all happened in the span of like one or two days. It's not like we, I formed like a huge connection with him, talked to him for months. Like no friendship has formed. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know if I want to keep talking to you, left really mean things on my friend's videos too. And he had nothing to say there to that. But then later, because he commented on my best friend and roommate Ashton's video, lots of you know who she is. And she replied to him saying, being pretty relentless to him, like saying like the screw off and stuff. He emails me after that encounter and says, 
Hey, who's your friend I talk to, huh? She's cute. I'm big and bad. And then I replied to him saying what Ashton told me to say on her behalf. And I said, she thinks you're a loser. <laughs> he went, what's her name? I'm like, did you watch the video? And then this was also Ashton's idea for me to say, I just said, I reported you to the police. And he left me alone from then on. So I think I scared him. I think he was afraid the police were going to actually knock on his door because he left weird comments on my videos. If it works, it works. <laughs> okay, and with most of these DMs, like, it's people where I only interacted with them for a day or two and then I ended up having to block them or tell them to fuck off. This was someone I actually considered kind of like a friend of mine. We were mutuals for like maybe even multiple years, if not months. I just opened my phone one day. This is during quarantine. And <laughs> I open it. And there is a picture of his junk, unsolicited, no context. And then he went, oh shit, wrong person. Don't open the message, lol. And this is on Instagram. And there's a little handy feature on Instagram where you can delete messages that you've sent. So if you send someone a picture on accident, you can delete it. He sent this to me like, hours before I opened it. So he had plenty of time to do that. It's not like I opened it right after he sent it. So, and like, I'm not dumb. I'm not stupid. I know it wasn't really an accident or I very much doubt it was. So she, he wasn't very apologetic about it. So, and then like, you know, you can unsend messages, right? And the second I sent that, all of a sudden it's deleted. So he knows how to do it. Like he's familiar with it. He's done it before. Okay, and this person I actually would consider like a friend. We would talk very, very often. There was already a couple of red flags of him where he pissed me off. I didn't really want to talk to him that much. So this was just like the last straw. But um, if you haven't seen my video, I did a video on Caitlyn Bennett. But um, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with those videos or Caitlyn Bennett, she's a terrible person. Um, she says lots of like homophobic, hateful, racist things just to get a rise out of people and to get attention. And I made a video on her and that pissed a lot of people off that like her. And so I had posted a comment that someone left where they called me like an ugly, skinny, alien bitch or something weird. Um, and I posted that to my Instagram story and he commented under it saying, that was mean, but yeah, don't judge others, especially when it doesn't concern you. I said, did you even watch that video? She constantly says terrible things about the LGBTQ plus community and the minorities. I went, yeah, that's pretty f***ed up. But why talk about it? Just leave it alone. Be pretty and do your own thing. Oh, sorry me. I, <laughs> I shouldn't have thoughts and opinions that I expressed. That's not the point of a YouTube channel. I should just be pretty and do my own thing. I should know my place. So I said, so be a pretty girl and shut up. And he has nothing to say about that. He went, why do you like making videos? And I said, to talk about things I find interesting, important, or funny. And I think that summarizes it up pretty well. I found it funny to talk about this woman and make fun of her. And I found it important to also address how terrible she is and why she shouldn't have a platform. That was the point of making the video. It does concern many people because she has an effect on people with the things that she says. I should speak up about things I don't agree with. That's, I have a brain, I'm gonna use it, I don't know. This is to talk about things I find interesting, important, or funny, not to be a pretty object for sims. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I know that, but you make videos because you're bored, right? And I said, no. It's my hobby. I make, I put time aside for it. I don't just make it because I'm bored. It's like, gotcha. At no point does he apologize because like, oh, maybe he upset me or offended me in some way. No. And so then at this point, this is the last straw. And I just want to let him know why I'm blocking him before I do it. So I said, you know, I don't like how you talk to me. So I'm just going to leave you alone. I'll be pretty and do my own thing. If I don't like something, I should just be pretty and like ignore it and do my own thing. So I don't like him. So I decided just to ignore him and do my own thing. 
And I said, you're being very patronizing right now. He said, I'm not. And I said, no, you are. Bye. And blocked him. And he didn't like that very much. So he commented under whatever my most recent video is and said, this is so childish what you did. I was just trying to understand who you are, but it's fine blocking me. And I just said, I took your advice. If I don't like what someone is saying, I'm going to leave it alone and keep on being pretty. That's a woman's role, right? Goodbye. I'm just going to leave him alone and ignore him. That's, his, that's literally the advice he gave me. So Now for a short break from our sponsors. If you would like this hat or this shirt or anything like that, check out the swimteam.com and use the discount code Sadie for a nice discount. Link will be in the description. Buckle up for this one. This is insane. Um, so on the video he originally commented on, I talked about things that happened that month. It's a series I was doing on my channel for a while called like what the hell happened this month. And I mentioned how Kobe Bryant passed away in a helicopter crash. And obviously it's a very sensitive topic for many people. And one of my friends just commented under it saying how sad she was about Kobe. And I said, I know I, I didn't even like, I wasn't even a fan of basketball and it made me really sad to see that happen. And in reply to that comment that I made, talking about a man who has died, this guy comments, okay, don't let that booty escape gal, lol. So I just sent him some question marks. <laughs> and he went, well that got your attention. I was kidding. I hope you accepted Jesus Christ. I've encountered him. I look at the world, honey, and it grieves me. So many children in hospitals as we speak, as well as adults. People fighting for their lives there. There's school bullying and all sorts of stuff, but I can only pray for them. Now there is nothing I can do for unbelievers who die in hospitals, but I can stop bullying. When I was a kid, I was an artist, a martial artist, even after even went to after school program for it. I can make criminal flip, criminals flip backwards and lay flat on the ground like Steven Seagal. Look his name up. I know who he is. Yeah, babe, but I use my skills for good. I met this kid named David in school. He followed me, I think. We were enemies, never liked him. He sees me walking up the stairs to go to class. He said, come here so I can kill you. I told him, you talking to me? Come kill me, David. He grabbed me and before he can throw a punch or pull out whatever he got, I pushed him with force down the stairs, laughed and ran the class. Next day, he had a arm wrap, white sheet of foam around his arms all over. I saw him walking with that same broken arm. We've been friends ever since when I saw him in the ghetto neighborhood. <laughs> These are his words, not mine. Oh. <laughs> Told him, hi, David, he said hi back with my name. God has a way of bringing us close. David learned his lesson in messing with me. What you say, babe? Bullying is wrong. Sad that kids go to school and commit suicide over this. So sad. If I were there to help, I'd be hyperactive and like Steven Siegel, a superhero. I don't intend to be like anyone other than myself. I love Christ. I love you, Miss Sadie. I want to protect those I love in Christ. It was God who worked the miracle inside me. What the fuck? <laughs> every, time, every time I read that, I'm like, what the fuck was that? Keep in mind, when I open these comments, I'm like at school or work or like out somewhere. I just re refresh my phone and like, this is what I get. <laughs> so he started leaving multiple comments under all of my videos after that. I don't, I didn't even reply to that, but he kept going. Um, on one video he said, I love this video. Everything you said is on point, but the part, okay, I have to say in this video, <laughs> this will come up a lot. In one video, it was another video where I talk from the series, what the hell happened this month, where I talked about things that happened that month. And in that video, I talked about how Gwyneth Paltrow made a candle that smells like her. Hoo-ha, we'll say. And he obsessed over that. So, yeah, keep that in mind. <laughs> but the part about Gwyneth Paltrow had me shaking my head left to right with one finger under my nose, I would never want to smell her vagina in real life or by the smell of it in a candle. I was so turned off, grieved, like the Holy Spirit when I heard this. I was like, what the heck? 
when you said it could possibly smell like fish or pineapple, I was like, OMG, OMG, no, no, no. <laughs> Not trying to think about that. Anyways, honey, good job, and I hope Gwyneth Paltrow is ashamed of herself. They do rituals, blood sacrifices, who in their right mind would pay $75 just to smell a vagina candle. Aw, come on, what has this world come to? Much love, friend. <laughs> do I need to say anything? I think that speaks for itself. Oh my god. Um, so I just... <laughs> He kept commenting on my videos, so I just said, um, thank you, the candle is weird, but Gwyneth could do whatever she wants. It doesn't make me mad, it's just bizarre. Cause I don't, I don't care that much that she made a candle. I'm not, I'm not shaking my head left and right with my finger under my nose. So after that, he comments again on one of my videos. Hey dear friend, how have you been? I looked all over for you, but couldn't find you. I had to go all the way down to my comments. Jeez. And I said, where else were you looking? <laughs> and honestly, I'm not even going to read all of this just for time's sake. Um, I'm going to give you my number, okay? I will send you a picture of me. And honestly, I'm not going to throw his number out because he commented this on a YouTube video. Um, 617-704-2999. Text me and I will send you the picture if you want to see me. I did not text him. I was not going to give my number to this freak. Um, I know I posted this on my Twitter when it happened and a couple of people did text him because his number was right in the comments um, and he refused to speak to anyone that wasn't me. So. <laughs> what the hell? At this point, I wanted to block him but it was so like entertaining. I like couldn't. This might be mild cyber stalking, I don't know. Cause at one point he also comments on my video. I don't think you know how much I love you, dear. Your personality, your smile, your charm. Jesus, I know you won't answer me. But uh, you're gorgeous. I'm not asking you out or anything. I tried last time and when you ignored my comment, I was sad, but happy in a way. Maybe we're not meant to be. But I just want you to know that I love you, Shady. Sadie. If I go missing one day, send any of these DMs videos to the police. <laughs> and so he still keeps coming back to his video where I mentioned the Gwyneth Paltrow candle. And someone commented, I bet that candle smelled disgusting. And I said, I know. I'm kind of curious though. And he replied to that. You're curious? OMG, OMG. <laughs> I don't even know what face is. <laughs> okay. And once again, in the video where I mentioned Kobe Bryant passing away, someone put rest in peace with sad emojis. And I commented under it, and in replying to that, he went, Rest in peace to who? Mag of Bitter Truth said Kobe Bryant is a psyop. He works for the elite. He's alive. He ain't dead. Put Mag of Bitter Truth on Kobe Bryant. And by the way, Kobe will die anyway. For what he did, the truth will come out. Um, I'm not going to say some of these words out loud because... He taught me some Jamaican words, um, and I think they might be slurs. Also, I'm gonna, before I continue, um, trigger warning, if you're LGBTQ+, he says lots of harmful things about that community, so if that makes you upset, then maybe you want to click away right now, but, <laughs> um, he also accused Kobe Bryant's daughter, who passed away with him, as a year being transgender, a transgender female like she was born a male which is not true she was born a female he was not dressing up as a woman or like yeah he said there was a guy pretending to be a girl which would mean transgender but he doesn't, obviously doesn't support that community and around the same time I, in one of my videos I mentioned Chick-fil-a and how I no longer support them because of what their views on the LGBTQ plus community. And he said, there is a curse on your family for many reasons. You ignored God and you are not in the spirit. This is the reason why you couldn't answer me when I dropped you my number. Because not by accident that I met you, I feel like I'm some kind of saint here to rescue the lost. That's the purpose I was born for. Wake up, dear. I know who I am. Do you know who you are? This goes out to everybody that's watching your video and mine. 
Seek God. Stop following idols. So he's crazy crazy. And obviously I strongly disagree with like everything he's saying about the LGBTQ plus community. Uh, so is he implying that the devil is stopping me from getting into his pants? He's like, yeah, that's why you wouldn't text me. It was the devil. Yeah, that's why. Uh, so um, it's scary that he thinks he is a saint. That's just scary. Um, that's why I'm ignoring him because, oh my God, he's scary. And then I made a video where I mentioned coronavirus multiple times in the video. And he went, you serious? I went outside, but I'm still wearing a mask and glove. You think this is over when there's a new world order at stake? Hey now, the people are done for, so go on. Mourn punks. Hey. I don't even have commentary for this. Look at... And then on one of my videos, someone commented, you're literally becoming my favorite YouTuber. Ha 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 ha. Heart. Um, thank you for that one. That was a nice comment. And he replies with, you're becoming my favorite kind of wife, dear. LOL. <laughs> then on the same video where I talk about coronavirus, um, someone comments, think about it, LOL. Why do you think everything is happening at once? They're obviously trying to distract us from something big that they're doing. And then I replied to that person saying, are you being serious, LOL? I can't tell if he was being sarcastic or not. Because I don't think that. I think this is just biology. Anyway, <laughs> he replied, yeah, of course. They've been doing this for years. And then the creepy guy responds, oh, he's serious, babe. And so am I. What he says is a fact. The world as we know it is in trouble. With all the people dying from coronavirus, I still can't comprehend what you don't understand. The world is going to end. And the Antichrist is going to fight against Jesus Christ. Because we all know the Antichrist will have powers from Satan and he will pretend to be Jesus but do the opposite but the real Jesus Christ will destroy him with the word of God if you were reading your Bible you would have read the book of Revelation because this part in the Bible is what scares people I want to join Jesus Christ on the day he has to battle this Antichrist if not I will just watch and wait because there's a war coming it's called Armageddon it will take place in the field of Gog and Magog and then he replied to the original guy who commented said, thank you for speaking up brother I keep telling sugar plum shady Sadie but she doesn't listen to me <sighs> this guy like should legitimately be like locked up so at this point I haven't blocked him yet but I'm ignoring him I'm not replying to him at all because oh my god he's scary this one this comment was the last straw. So he commented again on the video where I mentioned what if Paltrow's candle that smells like her private parts. And he says, I know this will sound crazy, Shady City, but I'm curious as to how your vagina smells like. Tell me so I can be your boyfriend. I literally almost threw up after reading that the first time. Like I, like it was sitting in the back of my throat. <laughs> what the hell? And then I blocked him like two seconds after, where right after I got the screenshot. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, so what a saint! What a Christ-like man. Under one, I ran the video. This another guy. This is a new guy. Um, <laughs> he comments. No comment. So I reply, that is a comment. And then he sends me an email to my business email. And he said, explain here. And I said, explain what? And he says, before I say anything, type a random color. And I'm intrigued, so I say purple. And he said, I'm going to serve as your personal shaman. Dare you to go right into your emptiness. Describe it, no fretting. And I said, I don't know what that means. And he goes, don't know what that means. I said, no. And he said, you, you have darker thoughts and dreams than most people. And I said, why do you say that? And he goes, no what? Be specific. No what? Be specific. Type another random color. And I'm starting to ignore him because um, he's creepy. And he said, I see it in your eyes. 
you love dark places. You thrive in the dark. And I said, I guess. And he went, color? And I went, I said, purple. Tell me, th and he said, <laughs> tell me things you seldom share about yourself or others out of fear of being judged or ridiculed. Another color, Sadie. And before I can reply, he says, when was the last time you cried? And I said, red. And he went, you're on fire and it's driving you insane, not having a means to be free. Talk about the empty feelings in your chest. You have a kick account? If not, consider opening one and sending me the username. Kick is more proficient for us to text in real time. At this point, I'm ignoring him because also nothing good happens over kick these days. I don't mean to frighten you or appear as a creep, but there is such deep sadness to your eyes. And then he sends me a screenshot for my video. But this one in the video, I said that I was going through a lot, like it was like a life update video. So I was like, yeah, I was on the video, I said that. And he said, I would like to open a fresh hole to a place where you can explore find yourself, Sally. Type another random color. Consider me a spiritual guide. Do you light candles regularly? I said, no. He goes, you and I both know I'm tapping into something about you that no one has questioned. Tell me about your current situation in your life. Do you have candles at home? I play drums, by the way. Have you ever posted a video where you're playing the piano? Oh, so that's creepy because I play piano. And I don't know if you saw that somewhere on my social media. So this is a little creepy. Um, I do play piano. I don't know why he asked that. I don't know if it's a lucky guess or not. Um... If you're preoccupied right now, we can resume this exchange letter. Nothing to say? I said no. And then I blocked him because I was scared. This only happens to me. What was that? Like, <laughs> it doesn't happen to other people, right? I had just finished filming this video. Then I opened my phone to find this comment under one of my tweets where I promoted my reaction to the Batman trailer and he said reaction videos are shit show some boobies to grow audience I literally I just finished filming this <laughs> do you see what I put up with okay that's enough for today I think it's all that I can handle and probably all that someone watching can handle <laughs> um if you like this video and you're new to my channel, maybe check out some of my other videos and subscribe. If you haven't seen my other DMs videos, I'll have the playlist up here or like to the side somewhere. You'll be able to find it very easily in the description as well. And if you're not new to my channel, don't unsubscribe, like, share, comment, all that jazz. Peace out.